Hey guys, good morning. Okay, first off I want to say you don't have to send me any links. Well, I mean on the video that you watched yesterday. Because I've already received a bunch of links. And I'm only going to touch on one little snippet. Just one little snippet. Maybe a couple. Alice is upset again. And Alice is preaching to the rest of us, I think. In the drama corner and the true crime community that is evidently trying really hard to make a ton of money off of the case of Christopher Watts. So she's upset and she's preaching and she's saying things like, you're directing hate toward me. And she's saying things like, it's all fake. You know, so, I mean, it's just kind of, it's kind of a hoot in a way. But in a more, I guess, adult view, I'm disgusted by her. I am disgusted by her actions. This is a woman who sat on her sofa reading from a script to create a very long video committing defamation and slander and IIED against Cindy Watts and against me. Guess what, Alice? As you know, I do not have an eighth grade education. Do you have any clue how disingenuous you sound when you sit there trying to preach to others after all of the shit that you've pulled yourself? Do you have any clue? Do you have any clue how obvious it is to everybody what you're pulling? Yet you leave that video up there. You leave it up there. You want to know why, in my opinion, you leave it up there? Because you're making money off of it. That and you've probably been directed to leave it up there, haven't you? You are disparaging Cindy Watts. You are disparaging me. You are attempting to body shame me for Pete's sake. Are you kidding me? Look in the mirror, Alice. What's that glass house's routine? How dare you body shame another woman? How dare you? How dare you sit on that sofa reading from a script, absolutely promoting hatred and harassment against Cindy Watts and me, and then you have the friggin' gall to sit there in your little kitchen in front of your fancy microphone in your Star Trek chair. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Ugh. And try to preach to others? It's like I said in the video yesterday morning, or I think it was the day before that. Yeah, it was Tuesday morning. Why don't you let your walk follow your talk. Now, the little snippet that I want to bring up here is, and I'm going to go ahead and quote Alice. Alice says, quote, there's things that you don't know, okay? And that you will never know because you're not privy to them. Well, Alice, guess what? When we have a true crime case on the public stage that we have been given over 1,600 pages of discovery documents, that we have been shown literally thousands of videos on the family itself, and that we have been attacked and harassed and threatened for nearly three years straight 
by people who evidently are attempting to tell us what to think and say about this case. Hmm. Guess what? The public is privy to details of this case. The public is privy. That's the core of our justice system in the United States. Why do you think all of these court hearings are held publicly on the internet? Because the public has a right to know. Again, that's the basis for our criminal justice system in the United States. In my opinion, the finest criminal justice system in the entire world. And if you disagree, please do name what system you think is any better anywhere else. Yes, the public is privy to the details of this case. And the public has the right and the freedom, and in my opinion, the duty to discuss the details of this case. And I just want to say this. When people say you're never going to know, human nature dictates that we will continue to ask why. <laughs>